Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anda Malescu and I am the owner of Malescu Law, a law firm based in Miami, Florida. Here at Malescu Law, we specialize in serving Florida companies and foreign companies and investors in the area of business corporate and immigration law. If you need to contact us, you have our information in this video and below this video. Today we are going to speak about the E2 investor visa, the benefits of this visa, as well as the requirements you must meet before applying for the E2 investor visa. However, before we get started, I do want to point out that the E2 investor visa has not been impacted by the June 22nd, 2020 executive order issued by the Trump administration suspending a number of visas. So those individuals who are still interested in applying in the E2 investor visa and meet the requirements can do so as this visa is still available for foreign individuals. The E2 Treaty Investor Visa is a U.S. non-immigrant visa that allows an individual from one of the E2 Treaty countries to come and work and live in the United States together with their spouse and children in exchange for making an investment into a U.S. business enterprise. Now, there are a couple of requirements that the applicant must meet in order to qualify for the E2 investor visa. And the first and one of the most important requirements is that the investor or the applicant, in the case where the applicant is a company, must be a citizen of one of the E2 treaty countries. Now, there are about 80 countries that have an E2 treaty with the United States, and we are not going to name them in this video, but you can find the, the links below to the websites that list the E2 treaty countries, and also you can visit the USCIS website or malesculaw.com slash e2 visa treaty countries and you will find lists with the countries that qualify for the e2 visa one important aspect to understand is that the applicant must be a citizen of one of these e2 treaty countries which means that a permanent resident of one of these countries would not in fact qualify for the E2 investor visa. Now, if your citizenship is not one that is listed, you are not a citizen of one of the countries listed as E2 treaty countries, then you cannot qualify for the E2 investor visa. However, Grenada and Turkey, which are E2 treaty countries, do have a program of obtaining citizenship through investment. A Grenada citizenship or a Turkish citizenship can qualify you for the E2 treaty investor visa. A second requirement for the E2 investor visa is that the applicant must invest in a U.S. business enterprise. The applicant can choose to invest in a startup and, in other words, start a new company in the United States with a line of products or services that they offer to the public, or the applicant can choose to purchase a pre-existing company in the United States, or the applicant can choose to invest in a franchise. However, with the franchise, it is important to keep in mind that not all franchises are 
eligible for an E2 visa. We do work with a company that helps investors locate the specific franchises that work with E2 visa holders and a line of business that the investor is comfortable comfortable with. If you need to contact us regarding franchises so we can make a recommendation, please do so. You have our contact information in this video and we would be happy to assist you and put you in contact with a consulting firm that can help you locate a um, franchise that is right for you. A third requirement for the E2 investor visa is that the investor must invest or be in the process of investing a substantial amount of capital into the U.S. business enterprise, whether that is investing into a startup or purchasing a pre-existing business. Regarding a substantial amount of capital requirement, there is no minimum of capital that is required to be invested in order for the investor to qualify for the E2 visa. In fact, the substantial amount of capital invested, the amount of money invested, depends on the industry and the sector of the business where the, the, the business will be selling its services and products, but the capital should be enough to give the business a real chance of succeeding. For some businesses, this would be more money and for some other businesses it would be less money. So for example, if the, if the investor would like to invest and open a hotel, then the amount of capital invested, the substantial amount of capital, will likely go into the millions. However, if the investor would like to open let's say a marketing agency, then the substantial amount of capital required would not be in the millions. Maybe it would be a hundred thousand or more. It could also be less. It is also possible to invest smaller amounts of capital, such as about $50,000 or $70,000, A fourth requirement for the E2 investor visa is that the investment must have been placed at risk at the time of the application and subject to loss if the investment fails. This means that the funds to be invested or in the process of investing must be committed to the business enterprise before applying for the E2 visa. In other words, the investor must have already started to purchase what is needed for the business or placed the funds into an escrow account in the case where the investor is purchasing an existing business. However, what the investor should not do before applying for the E2 visa is have the funds in a bank account, but the funds are not committed to the U.S business before applying for the E2 visa. In other words, the investor must go ahead and spend the funds, not necessarily the entire amount of money that is to be invested, but 
a portion of the funds that are to be invested must be spent before the investor applies for the E2 investor visa. Generally speaking, and as a rule of thumb, it is good to invest approximately 50% of the funds, in other words, spend 50% of the funds you plan to invest in the E2 business before applying for the visa. But depending on the amount of money you plan to invest, you can also spend less than 50% prior to the time of application. A fifth requirement for the E2 investor visa is that the U.S. business must not be marginal. This means that the U.S. business must be in a position to generate a substantial amount of income to support the investor and his or her family and also have revenues that allow the business to hire U.S. employees and contribute to the U.S. economy. This requirement is satisfied by providing an E-2 compliant business plan with your application for the E-2 investor visa. We work with a number of E2 business plan providers, and if you need recommendations, so you can always contact us using our contact information in this video and below this video. A sixth and final requirement for the E2 investor visa is that the investor must develop and direct the business enterprise. This means that the investor must have a controlling interest in the U.S. business, whether through majority ownership in the business or through other business structure. However, it is important to point out that the investor must be actively involved in the management of the company and cannot be a passive investor that uh, puts the fund into the business and allows somebody else to manage actively the company. With the E-2 visa, the investor must be actively involved in the management of the company. This is all with respect to the requirements, and now we are going to speak about the benefits of the E-2 visa. E-2 visa has a couple of benefits um, compared to other types of visas, and it is rather a more flexible visa. Some of these benefits include the investor is allowed, so the principal applicant is allowed to live and work in the United States, but the investor is only allowed to work for the E2 business enterprise. The investor is also allowed to bring their spouse and children to the United States and the spouse of the E2 investor can apply for work authorization and work in the United States without any restriction. This is another benefit because the spouse of the E2 investor can be self-employed, work for the E2 business, but also work part-time and full-time for other U.S. companies. Another benefit is that the children of E2 investors can attend school in the United States, whether private or public. Another benefit is that the family, the investor, spouse, and children under the age of 21 can all travel internationally and re-enter the United States as many times as they wish um, while holding an E2 visa. 
And a final benefit is that the E2 visa, if successful, can be renewed for an unlimited amount of time as this visa does not have a set number of years that can be renewed or any other limitations. So this means that if the business is successful, then the E2 visa can be renewed. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and if you have more questions about the E2 visa or you need to contact us, please do so and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. Bye.